uh, this is the case study for um, the cantilever beam 1.2 to meters long uh, with a cross section of 50 by 100 millimeters and made of steel is uh, fixed at the left end and loaded by a 10 kN force at the right, right end uh, we start by setting the units millimeters, megapascals, newtons and in this case study the beam will be modeled using brick elements so first we need to create uh, eight nodes which are the corners of this um, of this solid the first node can be zero zero uh, the second uh, one thousand two hundred zero zero so we're creating the nodes at the bottom plane uh, then we have one thousand two hundred fifty zero and uh, zero fifty zero so these are bottom four nodes and then in the plane where z is hundred uh, zero zero hundred uh, uh, one thousand two hundred uh, zero hundred one thousand two hundred fifty hundred and uh, 0, uh, 50 and 100 uh, F3 will re uh, redraw these nodes and F12 will help visualize these in diametric view uh, now um, property of the brick just literally means specifying the material uh, steel and it's isotropic uh, next is uh, to actually create the element which is now a hexa 20 element which is 20 noded hexagonal element and um, it's a little bit tricky so you need to follow this sort of sequence uh, should the lines should not cross otherwise it won't work uh, that should be okay and uh, click all okay so that's uh, 20 noded uh, it shows at the bottom 20 nodes one brick uh, we now uh, need to uh, fix all the elements on this side so um, maybe it's best to return it to XI plane and to uh, so this is the view from the top and to uh, go to attributes node restrain and to restrain all the nodes here all the nodes so um, attributes node restraint fix all right so all, all, all eight nodes uh, at that edge are restrained f12 go back to this view and uh, now I will apply the load attribute brick face load and it's uh, a shear stress and it's a shear stress in the vertical direction uh, so it's 2 megapascals and apply um, minus 2 apologies to apply okay so now all we need to do is subdivide this and we need to subdivide it into 
uh, 8 along the length uh, so in the b direction we need 8 subdivision in the a a direction which is uh, the vertical direction uh, 2 subdivision and in the C direction which is horizontal just one uh, the target brick is hexa 20 so altogether we should have um, 16 bricks and 165 nodes so that's fine I will save this file case study 4 and solve it um, here uh, we can check the total load uh, negligible in the x and y direction and in the z direction 10 times 10 uh, 1 times 10 to the uh, plus 4 which is uh, 10,000 newtons or 10 kilonewtons so that's correct and deflection 6.875 millimeters now uh, we, will, we can plot the vertical deflection along the line top line uh, so um, results file and graph versus position uh, dz dz is the deflection and position is between these nodes ok so this is the graph and the data points so the distances every 75 millimeters there is a node and Total displacement minus 6.875. Uh, the next is bending stress along AB. So the new graph and uh, its uh, quantity is now brick stress uh, global xx. and the position is exactly the same so click OK so this is the uh, stress so it's zero, nearly zero at the free end and about 150 at the fixed end 146 at the fixed end and it's positive at the top as it should be um, tension So for this uh, it would be quite nice also to view the contours, uh, maybe uh, global stress and to show it in deflected shape, right, so uh, the deflection and the uh, maximum tension and maximum compression are clearly visible. That's all.